Let's see how to use the double assignment operator in R. So to be honest, the double assignment operator is not something that you use every day, but it's something that quite uh, end up being quite useful for your code. So let's assume we have a closure like this, which is a function that returns a function. Now, in my case, this function will be incredibly simple. So I will have this first part that will get executed when I assign um, counter to a function. But then whenever I call that function that I'm creating, this will be executed every time. This will be executed just once. So pay attention. I call x equals counter. And now you can see that this part got executed. In, in particular, this part is not doing much. It is uh, assigning or storing a zero in the x variable. And then it is just printing the environment. It, it is printing what's inside uh, the function. Remember that functions in R define their own specific environment. And everything that lives in the environment will be able to access each other values. So that means, and that's the explanation why this function can access, for example, the x here. Now, there are a couple of important things here. If we call x, I get a 1. So far, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. I call x again, and what would you expect? Well, the truth is that this is kind of weird because x is defined internally here, but it's not very clear if I'm referring to an x that is being created inside this function, or I am referring to this x that lives in a superior environment as this. This has like, it's a level above the function that I am using. So to be honest, I'm, I'm not very sure what will happen here, because I have a, the x that is defined internally and the x that is uh, defined externally or above the function. So what's the scope that is govern, governing here? Well, the truth is that it depends on the operator that we use. Here we have the double assignment operator. And that's why when we call x like this, I will get a 2. And if I call it again, I will get a 3 and so on. And you get the idea. Now, what would have happened if I did this instead? the typical assignment operator. So I call counter C equals counter. I call C once, I get a 1. Let's call C again, I get a 1. Oh, what happened here? C again, another one. So it's not being updated. And uh, What's the reason? Well, the reason is that each function, remember, defi uh, defines its own environment. What this means is that whenever I am creating C equal counter, I am generating an environment where all these things will live together. The issue is that when I am executing each time uh, the C function, this will be executed. And this value will be forgotten and this will be replaced by this. So X, you can think uh, in these terms as well. The first time that I am calling it, it will be doing this. It will get the zero because it knows this is a zero from here because they live in the same environment and they they know or it knows this function knows what's the x so x is zero and then it creates an internal variable which will be x and it will be destroyed once the function ends so once c ends this value will be forgotten forever in history so that's the central element here So you might be wondering, well, why, how is this uh, operator fixing things? Well, that's the key thing here. What's happening here is that this operator is not assigning uh, this value to a variable that exists in this environment. Remember, each function defines its own environment. But it is searching for an upper hierarchy. It's not trying to assign... Uh, the x variable that lives here, it's searching for something else outside. And what's outside is the x here. So you can think, 
and I hope these uh, graphics are not too horrible. You can think that this is the function that we are defining. Function. This is the environment where we also have x defined to zero. This large environment, which we also call um, counter here. So counter is a large environment or defines its own large environment where this function lives. This function can return the x value. The problem is that if we do internal operations here by assigning x, the moment we do an assignment x equals something, we lose this reference and we start working with this internal x variable. So you know very well that every function, every time we call the function, all the internal variables are destroyed and there they will be uh, created again whenever we call x again. So what's the magic with uh, this operator? Well, this operator allows me to assign the value of x not to the this x, but to this x. So that's the key component. As long as the x that is being updated does not belong to internal function that is re-executed and destroyed on each iteration, I would be fine. So let's see a modification here. Instead of defining x here, I could be doing something equivalent, which is defining x here. So what's the difference? Well, the difference is that now x won't live inside this environment, but it will still live in the global environment. So let's run this again. I do x, I do a equals counter. Okay, and now I do A. And what do you think this should be printing now? Well, it should be print printing a 1. And what, what should it be printing now? It should be printing a 2. And you might be wondering, well, what's going on? Well, as I said before, remember we had this uh, function that lives in the large function, which is called counter. So if x x could be obviously defined here, this is not what I want. But now x does not live here as before, so x is not equal to 0 here, it doesn't exist, so I will cross it, so I'm trying to cross it, I know I'm not very skillful with this, but x lives here in the global environment. So what uh, this function will be doing, the, global, uh, the double assignment, is not just searching for the parent environment, but it will search through all the structure of, of environments. So it will do this and it will it will ask, hey counter, do you have any x variable? And counter will say, I don't have any. So it will jump into the, the parent of the counter. So it is very clear that counter's parent is the global environment. So this is global environment. And obviously in global environment it will be able to find x and it will update x. So that's why in each iteration I am not losing the value of x.